All right, welcome to the second half. Now, uh, we left off with these four different layers. Our cluster glow, our, our core glow, sorry, our cluster glow, galaxy glow, and our galaxy. Now what we need to do is add tiny, minuscule stars for uh, texture, uh, change the perspective, and on top of that, add our color to make it more realistic. So we're going to go ahead and start with the stars. Create a new layer, fill that in with black, Make that black. Filter noise. Add noise. 10%. It's pretty good. Gaussian. OK. Now, adjusting the brightness and contrast, what I'm going to do, like I usually do with my stars, is uh, isolate some of the brighter ones to make it just a little bit more realistic by increasing contrast and playing around with the brightness controls. That's a pretty good one. All right. I'm going to hide all of these layers and then change the blend options to screen. Now, with select, say edit in quick mask mode. What we're going to do is use a small brush. Too big. 30 is good, hardness 0, flow rate's 100, and I'm going to select or brush in the places where I think stars are needed the most. You don't have to be perfect, trust me. It looks better if it's not. All right. Once you leave selection, delete, and You'll notice you have tiny little itty bitty stars where right where they should be. Now, here's the tricky part. Select all the layers, say edit, transform, perspective. Now we are going to make it a little bit more 3D. I'm going to take grab this edge and push it towards the center to push the galaxy backwards. I'm going to grab the side so that I can tilt it up a little bit. I'm going to grab the opposite corner here and bring it closer down to round it out just a little bit, like so. I think that's pretty good. Now you notice that uh, we've sort of distorted some of our stars. Not bad. Play with your levels to fix that. There we go. Okay. Now it's time to add the colors. I'm using our color balance, and I'm only playing with shadows and midtones. Otherwise, the colors make it look pretty tacky. So on our galaxy layer, I'm going to use shadows are going to be blue, 100, 100%. Midtones is going to be green, 100%. Okay. The galaxy glow. Shadow is going to be blue. Midtone is going to be cyan. Core glow is going to be shadows yellow. Midtone red. And the cluster glow is going to be something a little bit different. Double click on it to bring in the uh, layer styles. And I'm going to create an inner glow. Change this yellow to a nice cyan color. Okay, opacity to 100, and hit OK. Now the final step, really, is uh, to add our little dome here. So go ahead and add a new layer. And using your gradient tool, select the center and drag it out to the edge. Invert it. So you have this white dome. And then change that to linear dodge. Now obviously it's overpowering. But what you do is uh, use your eraser with a relatively small, I'm using 38, hardness 0, change your flow to uh, 30. Just uh, slowly erase your way towards the center, being careful not to take away too much. Now, the end goal here is to create the illusion that there's a dome that's in the center.
and you can't do that if you take too much away, so just be patient, work your way in. Like so. And then I'm going to change the color balance. I'm going to change the midtones to both red and yellow, both extremes, and in the shadows, the same. All right. And it looks like I have a little bit extra. I'll just delete that with my eraser. And that's it.